Brian Fisher spoke about stop and frisk in New York City, and apparently he's very concerned about how getting rid of stop and frisk is going to negatively affect black people. And you know who were the greatest beneficiaries of stop and frisk? The bulk of the potential perpetrators that were arrested under stop and frisk were blacks. You know who almost exclusively were protected by stop and frisk? Other blacks. These areas were just riven with black on black crime. Stop and frisk started to bring those numbers down. When you go away from stop and frisk, which Mayor de Blasio has done, you are endangering black citizens. It's like a hate crime against black citizens. You are exposing them to risk by removing a law enforcement tool. Would you like to take a guess if that's factual or not? Quote, an independent study of the city's stop and frisk program found that 87% of the 685,000 stops in 2011, a record high, were of blacks and Latinos. Young black men between the ages of 14 and 24 were stopped 106% of the time. So what that means is there were more stops of young black men than the entire population of young black men. That's amazing, but it gets better. Stop and Frisk had a 90% failure rate in 2011, and in the first three months of 2013, when the numbers of stops fell by 51% from the same period last year, the crime rate dropped as well. A study by the city's own public advocate found that stops of white people were twice as likely to yield a weapon and a third more likely to yield some form of contraband as compared to stops of black people. In other words, Brian Fisher is wrong on every single point that he made. No, I see, this is the thing that's so amazing about these conservative talk show hosts. Eh, they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about numbers, about facts. What study? Go ahead, ask Brian Fisher. What study are you referencing when you say that the... The people being helped by stop and frisk are black people? What, just riddle me that. Uh, uh, the, the study of Jesus in the Bible in Leviticus 17.12. He he's a fundamentalist. He pulls everything from the Bible. Actually, not even. He doesn't even read the Bible, which is his own holy book. He pulls stuff out of his ass and then pretends like the Bible backs it up. Oh, I know, Brian, you care so deeply about the black community. You care so deeply about them that you would like for them to continue to get harassed by the NYPD. How kind of you, how kind of you. You want a system where they don't have protection from unreasonable search and seizure, which is their constitutional right. You want a system where that's taken away from them. Meanwhile, as you're taking it away, your program is a pathetic failure. You want black people to be searched Meanwhile, 90% of the time, your searches are bullshit and they take nothing away. And by the way, the other 10% of the time, what are they doing? It's weed. So it's minor weed crime. Somebody minding their business. They want to go home and smoke a blunt after work, smoke a joint. And it's, no, you're going to go to jail now because you want to relax at home and watch cartoons. How dare you? That's no different than somebody going home and drinking a Corona. I mean, come on, how have we not gotten to that point yet where that's the common understanding uh, throughout society? And actually, to be fair, it kind of is. 59% of the American people want to legalize marijuana. Brian Fisher's obviously not in that crowd. The crowd he's in is, be racist and hate black people as you pretend like you're actually in favor of black people.